Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing really well. Today I have a bunch of beauty empties to go over with you guys. This is actually items from both September and October. And so there's actually quite a bit of stuff to talk about. So let's just hop right into it and get started because I really want to get all these items into my recycling bin as soon as possible. So yeah, let's just get started. I have three makeup items to share with you guys, so I want to go over those first. The first item you would have seen in my Six for Summer project pan, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation, the full coverage airbrush foundation, and I used it up entirely. I actually used up the vast majority of this item over the summer during that project, so it was really nice to have focused on it. This item I won't be repurchasing. Um, I just found that the color was really weird. I talked about it in every single update of that project and I can link that playlist down below for you guys. I just wouldn't repurchase it. I'm gonna try to find um, a different powder foundation for next summer, I think. Next item I wanna share with you guys is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is a deluxe sample. I'm not sure if I got it for a Sephora point perk or if it was like a coupon code um, sort of deluxe sample, but I saved this for special occasions for probably about a year or a year and a half, and honestly, it wasn't really worth saving for special occasions because they actually didn't find that it did much for my personal skin type. I've heard a lot of people say that they love it, I just think it's not up my alley, but on the topic of Hourglass, I do want to ask you guys if you guys know anything about Hourglass being purchased by Unilever. It's Something that I heard a couple months back and then I haven't heard anything else about it and I just didn't know if the brand is going to remain cruelty free or not because of that big uh, change in ownership. It's a brand that I've like wanted to explore for a long time. I never have really purchased anything from them and I don't know, I feel like it kind of sucks if I'm not going to be able to get the chance to purchase from them anymore. So if you guys know anything about the change in ownership, can you please let me know? Or if you have any resources for me to read up a little bit more about it, then can you please let me know because I'm very curious about that. And the next item that I have to share with you guys is another deluxe sample. This one actually was a birthday gift from Sephora. This is the NARS, um, I think this was the satin lip pencil in the shade Rakugian. I tried to sharpen it uh, for the last time, like last week, and it just wouldn't sharpen anymore. I could barely even spin it. And then I tried to put it onto my lips and the pencil just recessed into the um, actual like pencil. So yeah, not gonna be able to ever use that again. And unfortunately, NARS is going to be selling in China now, so I will not be purchasing a full size of this guy. However, I actually really did like this formula and I liked the little deluxe size because I would keep it in my wallet and I could just pop it on whenever I felt like I needed a lip balm or whenever I felt like I needed a little bit of lip color. So it was really nice for that uh, because it was quite nourishing and comfortable and so easy to apply, but no, I will not be purchasing a full size of this guy. I'd like to hop into skincare next. The first item is the Pacifica Kale Water by Solar Water. And I really do enjoy this. I have another one of these in my bathroom already and I'm actually probably about halfway through it. And yeah, I really do enjoy these. You've seen these in my empties a few times now. It is a really good micellar water that is a great solution for natural and cruelty-free options compared to like Bioderma or Garnier. And I have really enjoyed this product, so I haven't really looked any farther for micellar waters that are cruelty free. I've got a little sample size of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I took this with me when I went on vacation in September just so that I could get it used up. I did find that it was nice and nourishing. It was really nice like especially after the plane ride when my skin was super dry and it was good to actually use like on my like knuckles and on my fingers when my hands got really dry from hiking during the day. So I did really enjoy this. I don't know if I would purchase it again, but if I ever um, had the option to get like a little sample size, I would totally pick this up again because it was great to have in my purse and to travel with and all that sort of stuff. I've got two like single use face masks here. The first one is the Mask Bar by Look Beauty. This is the anti blemish prone mud mask. And this was all right. It's super, super drying 
and like it really really feels like it like is sucking all of the crap out of your skin so I did enjoy it I actually have another packet of this left in my drawer so I'm going to get it used up definitely before it gets too cold in the winter I'm also not sure on the ethical not ethical but like on the cruelty free status of this brand so I'm not really sure if I would purchase again um, but I actually really enjoyed this guy a little bit more. It's a totally different sort of mask, but I actually had a clarifying one by this brand that I didn't put in my empties for whatever reason. So I actually finished two of these Andalou, uh, Andalou Naturals face masks. This one was the pumpkin and honey, and the other one was the clarifying one. And I really enjoyed both of these. Um, I kind of hate the amount of packaging for a single use. Like I'm not into this. I wonder if they sell them in like a tube or in a tub or something like that because I just find that this is so wasteful. I have got a full size and a little mini of the La Roche-Posay Epiclar Duo Plus and this stuff is pretty good at keeping my acne at bay. It doesn't help to prevent future breakouts but it does definitely help to tame the acne that I do have. I think I've got another little sample size like this in my collection that I have to work through and I won't be repurchasing it because um, La Roche-Posay is not cruelty free but I think I'll just try to finish up the other ones that I have because like I said it's a decent product it's not my favorite but i um, happy to get these guys out of my collection nevertheless. I've got another non cruelty free product here that I'm so happy to get out of my collection. This is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. And this was a really good brightening eye cream. I loved it for the morning time because it had this like iridescence to it, almost like a slightly salmon-y or like peachy sort of shade and a little bit of shine. And so it really brightened the under eye and canceled out those blue tones under the eyes. And it made con concealer sit really nicely on top. But again, it's not cruelty free, so I won't be purchasing this guy again. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this product before. This is the Avalon Organics Intense Defense Vitamin C Oil-Free Moisturizer. I love this stuff morning and night. It's really, really good. I totally wish that it came in a pump. I don't love when um, lotions come in tubs like this, but I mean, I can see past it because the product is really nice and the smell is super like fresh. So in the morning time, putting this on before my makeup really was like very energizing. I will definitely repurchase this again once I work through another couple moisturizers in my collection, but I'll definitely be picking this guy up again. Um, I think I've never used it through the winter before though, so I don't know if it'll be quite rich enough for me for the winter, so we will have to see. Um, in a few months when I get the chance to purchase it again. The last skincare item I have to talk to you guys about is these e.l.f. cleanser cloths. These are the makeup removing cleansing cloths and these are only like five or six bucks. Super inexpensive, really great. Again, when we went on vacation, they were just a really good option to have in the car or when we went to a hotel or whatever. I just picked them up for that exact reason. I don't particularly love always having makeup removing cloths in my collection, but yeah, they were all right. I've got two hair care products here. The first one is the Kiss My Face Whenever Conditioner, and I usually buy the big, big tub, and I have it in every single empties video, but I picked up this smaller container again when I went on vacation, just something easier to transport, and yep, already repurchased, have a big tub in the shower that's probably a third of the way through already. Love, love, love this stuff. And now that my hair's shorter, I think I'll go through it a little bit slower, but um, always love this stuff and can't get enough of the fragrance, can't get enough of the product. I just find it doesn't weigh down my fine hair at all, but it leaves my hair feeling very nourished and easy to brush out, so I adore this stuff. Got another conditioning product. This is the Macadamia Healing Oil Treatment. This was like a leave-in conditioner oil and loved this stuff and it took me for freaking ever to go through this tub. This is I think a full size tub, I'm not sure because I got it in like a variety pack of macadamia products and the other two products went probably three years ago and this guy stuck around for probably like three or four years, I'm not even exaggerating. Um, and I was using it every time that I washed my hair. Um, it was crazy, this lasted so long, you literally need to do like 
less than half a pump to go through your full ends of your hair and it's super super nourishing again it makes your hair brush out really nicely yeah i love this stuff i'm currently using a paul mitchell conditioner leave-in conditioner so i won't be picking this guy up anytime soon but i would definitely pick this up again in the future i love how long it lasted oh expiry date was june 2016 and yeah <laughs> i used it all through for almost more than a year after that so i don't know i didn't find that the product actually stopped performing i just realized that that's pretty funny whatever i would pick this guy up again for sure this guy's pretty random this is actually coconut oil this is the grace uh, virgin coconut oil and i use this actually exclusively as a beauty product it stayed in my drawer filled with like my hair care and skin care and this was um always used actually as a hair mask and i would just take a scoop but like just literally go right into the tub take a scoop melt it between my hands like this and run it through the lengths of my hair um, especially when my hair is long and it gets really tangly because it's so fine and I'd leave it on for like maybe 20 minutes to an hour or however long really I could and then really thoroughly clean it out and it just left my hair feeling so so nourished and so manageable and I really like coconut fragrances the next item I have here is actually Something you guys have seen a lot before, this is the Jason Creamy Coconut Body Wash. I go through at least one, them a, one of these a month. Um, between me and Patrick, we go through these pretty frequently. And love this stuff. It lathers up really nicely. It's a natural brand, cruelty-free brand. It smells delicious, and it's a really effective uh, body wash. So I have another one in the shower, and I don't know when I'll ever stop purchasing this guy. This very broken tub is the Yes To Dry Skin Protecting Hand and Cuticle Cream and I busted right into it so I could get every last possible drop of this because I love the fragrance and it was very nourishing. I would probably pick this up again but I have a lot of hand creams to work through so I won't be picking it up anytime soon but I really did enjoy it and just like opening it up again I'm just like oh my god I want that smell all over my body. <laughs> I love, love this stuff. I tend to always show you guys actually a different toothpaste than this one. This is the Jason Sea Fresh. I usually show you guys the Jason Power Smile. I just picked this guy up because I was curious to try something a little bit different. I loved it, um, but I actually think I like the flavor of the Power Smile just a little bit more, so that's what I've got currently in my bathroom. But again, this was a really good product. Um, I personally think that Jason does the best natural toothpaste and would definitely suggest you guys checking it out if you haven't already. Finally done with the Revlon Colorstay nail polish. This is in the shade Stormy Night. It's a beautiful like grayed out purple. I really did love this color but Revlon's not cruelty free and it takes me for freaking ever to get through a nail polish so I actually have a Pacifica color. I think it's the shade Drift that's like a little bit lighter than this and slightly more gray than this one. That's a really great alternative to this one that I'm going to be working on and probably it's gonna last me for a few more years so I don't need another color like this and I definitely won't be picking up anything else from the color stay range. And this last item is very essential for me. This is the Dr. Bronner soap. This is in the citrus fragrance and I have this exact stuff but just in another bigger tub that I'm now working on. This is what I use to clean all of my makeup brushes and my makeup sponges. And I love this stuff. I definitely, definitely would suggest that you guys give it a try if you haven't already. This stuff has a ton of different purposes. Like you can use it as a body wash, you can use it as a shampoo, you can use it for like laundry. There's so many different ways to use this stuff. I personally use it every once in a while as a bubble bath, but um, basically just stick to using it to clean my makeup brushes because it's so, so effective at cleaning them and a tub costs like, I don't know, probably this little thing probably costs like seven bucks and it lasts you like three or four months, um, especially if you're just using it for brushes. So definitely suggest you guys checking this stuff out if you haven't already. I mean, I think everyone's heard of Dr. Bronner's because there's so many different purposes for it, but yeah, I would definitely suggest 
this guy and have already repurchased. So that's absolutely everything today guys. I'm really happy to be getting these empties out of my life. Some of these items are my favorites. Some of these definitely needed to go as they're not cruelty free. And I'm very excited to have gone through so many things over the last couple months. What are some of the items that you guys have finished up lately and what did you think of them? And if you have any suggestions um, of like substitutes for any of these products, please let me know. I can't wait to hear a little bit more back from you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.